Oh my gosh, what is up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington, this is Deer Meat for Dinner, and welcome to Our Crazy Life. If this is your first time ever watching one of our videos, please hit subscribe and ring that little bell so you stay informed anytime we upload. Now, if you're new, it's probably your first time ever seeing that wall. This is our living room here. Each and every animal on this wall has something in common. All of them were eaten. All of them represent amazing food for our friends and our family. They also represent an amazing memory. That was the beautiful buck. Sarah killed it on like our first real date. Antelope killed my buddy Clinton Beal. First two nice bucks I ever killed. Ooh, that's my moose. But this is the one we're gonna show you today. Check this out. See that big old boar hog? Look at them teeth like crazy, gnarly, over 200 pounds. Why am I showing you that? I'm trying to explain to everybody that this isn't about, oh, just killing something and putting it on the wall. This is about preserving a memory. When we hunted that hog, Sarah, <laughs> her, she was seven months pregnant with, <laughs> she was pregnant with her. Now, how funny is that? And there's Aria. Aria, you were just a little baby, huh? Yeah. You're just a little, little baby. They were just little babies, but that hog is still there. The food has been consumed long ago, but every time we look at it, we remember this day. All right, you hound dogs. We're up here in Melbourne right now, and a lot of y'all saw my archery video the other day, and we told you that we ordered Sarah a bow. Well, that's what we're doing now. Coming to get it. Picking it up. Yeah, so pretty stoked. Little baby's back there. She's watching our show, hanging out. She's pretty bummed that we're not getting her a bow right now, but uh, her day's coming. Oh, no, it's Hey, Tina, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey. Look at you rocking all the Hoyt gear. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? You appreciate when people come in here open-minded and wild. Absolutely. Absolutely. We definitely want them to learn because What's the sense of teach of just selling equipment to someone that will give up because they get frustrated with it? If you teach them properly from the beginning, they'll stick with it. Because this is a very enjoyable, addicting sport. This is my first time with a drop away, so I'm very excited about that. If you buy a bow and you don't have a professional set it up, what happens is you adjust your body to fit the bow and then you start teaching yourself bad mechanics. When you're with a real professional, he will then adjust the bow to fit your body using proper mechanics, and then you have really good results. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, you guys. Tonight, I've officially declared that we are going hog hunting. Check this out. Right on the pocket. And right on the bull side. I think that Tino is the man because I've never ever had a bow get worked on and have it be dead on afterwards, ever, ever. Okay guys, here's the word to the wise. If you're trying to get your Chiquita into archery hunting, bring her to a bow shop and let him teach her because she ain't gonna listen to you. I'm just saying. Brother, thank you. As y'all can tell, we're just self-filming, having a good time. I do give you my word, Tino is legit. Just look him up. All his links will be in the description below. Awesome, we're heading to the woods. Yes, good Yum. luck. She's ready. Shot number one, it's a hard quartering shot. Where would you shoot that hog? Let's go. I knew we couldn't get any better than that. I'm very proud of that shot. Okay, shot number two, uh, quartering to us. And you gotta shoot off your knees. Perfect. Okay. okay, shot number three. Now range is coming into play. Shooting between stuff, hanging moss. Dead hog. Okay, sorry folks, the uh, camera wasn't in perfect focus there. Shot number four coming up. Very straightforward. Dead hog. Yeah. We got one more arrow to shoot. We got a mid view over here. Mm 
perfect. Oh, I hit my arrow, didn't I? No. All right, so this was the first shot, and a lot of people be like, oh, you shot him so far back, but that would be, I mean, a hard quartering shot, that would be the perfect, absolute perfect angle back behind the last rib. You'd run it up, that hog wouldn't go anywhere. Might be a little stinky to gut, but he would be dead fast. All fantastic shots. Brand spanking new bow, got it today. Now the question is, can we, uh, oh, grandma's here, babysitter. Looking good, y'all. Hey, how are you? There she is, everybody. That's my mom. Oh, Miss Betty. Look how cool she is. <laughs> Hey you guys, 30 weeks pregnant here. Got my new bull. Now let's go hunting. That right there is a yes. mounter, y'all. I guarantee you he's getting mounted. No questions. 30 asked. weeks pregnant and with some lucky girl. Look at this. Alright, before it gets dark. I want y'all to know, she's shooting a 45 pound Hoyt. That's the uh, Pro Defiant with, um, they're the uh, uh, Easton Full Metal Jackets and the, the Montec. Montec. The Montec. People say you can't shoot through, can't shoot through a hog shield. 
That is a monster and she shot clean through both sides. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. That's the first time I've ever seen that in my life. Tino at All About Archery, man, you rock because you set my bow up and this thing has been shooting flawless since you worked on it. So thank you. Now let's get this thing loaded up. Look at that now. I mean, look. Do you hear that? She shot through it. I'm gonna try to cinch his leg right here. So now we got that leg right there. So that's not gonna fall down, which means I should be able to winch him up this way. Watch out, Miss Sunny. Husband of the year goes to Rob Arrington. This is a beast. That's why it's always good to have ratchet straps and then know how to tie knots. I was able to tie the hind leg up so that it didn't fall down and then I could just use the front end and lever him right into the back of the Polaris. Let's go to camp, victorious. Let's show Arya, if she's not sleeping already. What an amazing hunt that was. Perfect shot. Perfect harvest, perfect memory. It's an incredible day, you guys. And uh, I just wanted to share that one with you. That video was posted a few years back. Unfortunate, it had some hangups and, and didn't go anywhere. I wanted to share it with you so you guys got to see it three years later. You understand that this isn't just about going out and killing something. This is about our life. This is about our journey. And this is about our memories. See, this is my mom. She was watching Aria. She's always been there for us. And uh, so we just made it back to camp. We were able to get the hog into the Polaris and make it back to camp. And so I, I'm trying to figure out who a good taxidermist is around here and figure out what our options are. But I'm going to take the hog right now over to Joey's house and we'll ice him down because we're going to do a whole video on how to skin this thing out so that he can be mounted and we can keep the meat. What do you think, honey? I think I have an awesome husband because I have to actually head home and take care of Aria. And since I'm so pregnant, he's like totally doing all of the work for me. So thanks, babe. That's just the way it goes. I love you, Dave. Love you. I hope you enjoyed the video. YouTube, I know we killed a hog, but please don't take our video away. <laughs> this is what we do and this is our life. We love you all. Share it with a friend. Tell somebody about it. Like us, leave us a comment. And we gone.